Again, this is going to be methodical, right? I've got, we don't need to rush what we were doing over there. I've got plenty of time to set my partner up for success. Oh, it's really nice. I like, I like to think um, bathrooms, hallways, right? Could I put this between my legs? Could I have a partner handing me this as I go? Now this is a two person deployment. You might be looking at a three person deployment. If he had to do this himself, he could. Okay, so you've got to think in those terms, what are my resources looking like? I'm gonna go ahead and get him set up. He's doing compressions. Ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. Do you see what just happened to his chest when I did that? Look at how much more real estate I now have to work with. Especially when we get into that 250, 350 patient range, it's gonna be really critical you get every ounce of real estate you need. Most people's rib cages are relatively the same size. It's the adipose tissue on the outside of that that varies. Um, I don't like to do a big lift, and all I'm gonna try and do is clear his shoulder blades, that's it. I'm not trying to get his head all the way off the ground. I'm just trying to get enough space for him to scoot that plate in. So you're still, you're still doing compression. We're gonna time this and back plate in five, four, three, two, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. You should count it down every time. You get caught on a piece of safety equipment. You got caught on the ground. I don't care what, somebody came out with a gun. I don't care what happened. Stop what you're doing, go back on the chest. There's no rush in this process because now, this was at our break at minute four. I've now got two more minutes to set Lucas up, right? So as he's going, I'm gonna look at placement. So put his hands on his chest. I wanna make sure that his back place is in a good spot, a spot that I'm gonna have access to. I'll come into the side, get it clicked in, okay? And then I'll leave it open. Now, I like to use that yellow target as my target through his arms, okay? But we're gonna do the same thing. Coming up on our pause at minute six now, and I've been helping him push drugs, I've been helping him do other things. What we're gonna do is we're gonna coordinate in five, four, three, two, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. One, two, three. Good job, good job, good job. So how about a people will work on it? We had a 400 pounder in Portland, 450 pounder in Salt Lake on it. I've also seen barrel chested 250 pounders that it's close. Mm -hmm. The hard thing for me is when they're, when I'm doing this and they're alive, they always have clothes on and they're not depressed, right? There's no oxygen or blood when somebody's in arrest. So my gut said on a couple of them, I probably could have got it on if they were out. Um, but with that being said, on some of our bigger folks, this will be completely mashed. So you're going to have to make sure you got it in the right spot. But even if it is all the way up there, as long as that clicked and locked in, it'll do its 2.1 inches. Now go ahead and grab under and reach under and see what that feels like if you had to log roll them. I mean, if he and I had to, right, we could oh, conceivably yeah. grab a leg and the plate, lift them both to get them out of here. Hmm. Now, something bad happened, okay? I don't know what it is. Thing alarms, I don't know what to do. What do you do? It alarms, pull the battery. Okay, battery didn't work. Okay, I'll take it off and start seeing. Get it off, so it's one, two, three and just get it out of your way right back on the chest now with that being said look at the back plate he's alive he's just you know narcan maybe not kicking in as fast as we want to as we go to do those things just back plate him now with the anticipation is that if i have to start doing compressions and i'm on a mattress of any kind my performance is automatically decreased so i need to think man how do i get lucas on as fast as i can with it open like that, you can do a really, really good job. Yeah. Great job, man. Okay, you go.